Let's solve some questions on profit and loss. This is the first question. In terms of percentage profit, which is the best transaction of these given four options? So to solve this question, we will have to calculate the percentage profit of each of these options. For that, you must know the formula for percentage profit. And percentage profit is equals to the profit divided by the cost price times 100. For the first option, profit upon cost price, so 17 upon cost price is 36 times 100. And that is equals to, that will come out as 47 2 by 9%. Next, we have this cost price as 50 and profit as 24. So 24 upon 50 times 100 and that will be equals to 48%. Next, we have the profit as 19 on the cost price as 40. So 19 upon 40 times 100 and that will come out as 47 and half percent of profit. Now the last option is 29 profit upon the cost price that is 60 times 100 and that will be equals to 48 1 by 3 percent. So which of these percentage is the greatest? Well this option D is the greatest percentage. It is 48 1 by 3. So this is our right answer. Alfred buys an old scooter for rupees 4700 and spends rupees 800 on its repairs. If he sells the scooter for rupees 5800, what is his gain percentage? Now, what is the cost price of this scooter? Well, the cost price is given. He buys this scooter at the rate of rupees 4700. So, CP which is the cost price equals to 4700 but he also spends rupees 800 on the repairs so i can add that to the cost price right so plus 800 is the cost price so this is equal to 4700 plus 800 is equals to 5500 which is the cost price for us now he sells the scooter for 5800 so i can write the selling price is equal to 5800 isn't it? Now I can say that the cost price is increased by some percent to get the selling price. That is the person gains some profit on the cost price and let's say if he gains P percent of profit. So I can write selling price is equals to the cost price plus some percent of the cost price and that percent is the profit percentage. So P percent of CP. So therefore the selling price is 5800 which is equal to the cost price which is 5500 plus P percent of cost price can be written as P upon 100 times 5500. So these zeros and these zeros gets cancelled out. What remains is 55P is equals to 5800 minus 5500 which is equal to 300. So P is equal to 300 by 55. 5 times 60 is 300 and 5 times 11 is 55. So let us divide 60 by 11. I have 11 5 are 55. What is left is 5. So this is equivalent to 5, 5 by 11 percent. So the profit percent is 5, 5 by 11. Option B is the right answer. Sam purchased 20 dozens of toys at the rate of 375 rupees per dozen. He sold each one of them at the rate of rupees 33. What is his percentage profit? Now he purchased the toys at the rate of 375 rupees per dozen. So I can write cost price is equals to the total number of toys which is 20 dozen toys so 20 times the rate of the toys per dozen which is 375 and that is equal to 7500. Now he sells each one of the toy at the rate of rupees 33. So I can say selling price is equal to rupees 33 that is the rate of each toy times the number of toys. Well there are 20 dozen toys 
and in each dozen there are 12 toys. So the total number of toys is equals to 20 times 12. So I have the selling price as 33 times 20 times 12, which is equals to 7920. So what is his percentage profit? Well, we get the selling price by increasing the cost price by some percentage profit, right? So selling price is equals to cost price increased by some percentage profit. So cost price plus P percent of the cost price. So that is equal to the selling price is 7920 is equals to cost price which is 7500 plus P upon 100 times 7500. These zeros get cancelled out. What remains is P is equal to 7920 minus 7500 is equal to 420. And we forgot this 75. We have 75P. Right? So therefore, P is equal to 420 divided by 75. And that is equal to 5.6%. So the correct option is option C. A man buys a cycle for Rs. 1400 and sells it at a loss of 15%. What is the selling price of the cycle? Well, the man buys a cycle for Rs. 1400. So the cost price is equal to 1400. Now he sells it at a loss of 15%. So loss percentage is equal to 15%. So we need the selling price of the cycle. Well, if there is a loss, the selling price is equals to the cost price minus the loss and the loss is 15% of the cost price so minus 15% of the cost price so we can put values in this equation this is equal to cost price is 1400 so 1400 minus 15 by 100 times 1400 so these zeros get cancelled out so this is equal to 1400 minus 15 times 14 and that is equals to 210. So 1400 minus 210 is equal to 1190. So 1190 is the selling price of the cycle. Option C.